Welcome back to the Academic Society. I'm very excited to share today's video because I have done a couple of things to enhance my teaching as well as the teaching of my colleagues at my school. And I did it by using a new tool that I'll be talking about in this video. But I'll be walking you through two projects that I worked on this summer with the special tool that I will be introducing in this video. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep watching. I'm Dr. Toyin Ali. I'm the founder of the Academic Society. I have a PhD in math. I'm also a senior lecturer at a university and I create content about time management, productivity, as well as academic lifestyle content. Today's video is sponsored by Vibe. It's an interactive whiteboard that I've had the pleasure of testing out and see if I could use it to enhance the way that I teach virtually as well as just my overall experience as a college instructor. Like, could I use this in my daily life? And when I learned about the Vibe board and its capabilities, I was beyond excited to test it out and see, okay, how can I use this with my classes right away? So in today's video, I'm going to share how I use the Vibe board to host virtual office hours for my pre-calculus students. These students were in my summer pre-calculus class. And I'm also going to show you how I created this instructor's manual for the other instructors at my university who are in my department. And this instructor's manual, I'm calling it instructor's guide. It just has like things that I would recommend to do in the class for a course that I redesigned. So I'm not the only person who teaches this course. And a lot of people have been saying they've been struggling with like the new framework for teaching the course and they weren't exactly sure about what to do in the class. So I wanted to create this guide to kind of help them walk through um, how to set up their classes. So before we get into the details about my office hours and my instructor's manual, I want to share a few details about the Vibe board that I have. I have the Vibe S155 in. I also have a camera as well as a stand. I chose green as the color to match my room, but also they have other colorways that you could choose from. And if you want to learn more details about the Vibe board, definitely check out the description of this video. There will be a link to learn all about Vibe board and their capabilities. So one thing that I was really excited about when it came to using the Vibe board is office hours. So both me and my students have really been enjoying having the option to do virtual office hours, especially on days where I don't come to campus and perhaps my students don't want to make a trip all the way across campus to my office just to ask me a question and leave 15 minutes later. So typically I would do office hours with a document camera where my students can see my handwriting because they need to be able to see the math to be able to understand what's happening. But they weren't able to see my face. So when I learned about the Vibe board capabilities, I was like, this is a great opportunity for the students to see my writing, to be able to see the work that I'm writing in virtual office hours as well as seeing my face at the same time. And it was actually really, really nice. Okay, let me tell you, it's very easy to set up. So all I had to do was I downloaded Zoom onto my Vibe board and I was ready to go. So I went into Chromium, logged into my school account for Zoom, opened my Zoom office hour. I was able to split the screen so that I could have my Zoom on one side and my work that I was working on on the other side so I could see my students as well as my work at the same time. And so basically I just had my students ask me questions and then I would answer them and I would take questions from them and ask them clarifying questions. I actually kind of ran it very much like a class where I was prompting them. They were giving me the next step. It worked really well and my students really enjoyed it. They were so excited to, I guess, see kind of a bit of my office space because they had only seen me in class. And so when they joined, they were like, what's up, Dr. Ali? how's it going it was just a really cool fun casual experience and I think the students really being really appreciated being able to see both me and the board and so I'm really excited to continue using it throughout the fall semester because I'm going to get more students in office hours and yeah it's been great highly recommend if you're doing anything virtually with your classes I think the vibe board capabilities are just perfect it looks like this. So it looks exactly the same on the left and right side of the graph. All right. So if I drew this to scale, theoretically, this graph looks exactly the same on the left and the right side of 
the y-axis. So it has y-axis symmetry. Now, this is a parabola, and it's a parabola that opens down because we have a negative in front of the squared term. So that means actually this question needed us to maximize the area. Okay, all right, have a good night, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so the second project was something I wasn't sure would work. It is my instructor's manual. So as I mentioned before, I redesigned pre-calculus. Basically, I flipped it so that I created video lectures so the students will watch the videos before class, come to class with questions, and at the beginning of class, I would do like a very, very brief recap and reminder of what they watch in the videos. We'll put some main definitions and formulas on the board, and most of the class is the students practicing problems. Now, a lot of people in the department use these materials. Grad students teaching, new postdocs, new faculty members, current faculty members, they're using these materials. And a lot of people have the same question. They're always unsure of how much to say in that little recap section of the class, which should last no more than 10 or 15 minutes. But what I was seeing is people actually redoing the whole lecture in class. And that is not necessarily helpful when the purpose of the class is for the students to be practicing. So there was a gap and a little difficulty for people who are used to traditional lectures to kind of switch over to this like small little recap um, style of teaching. So what I did over the past year is I saved all of my recaps, all of my board work. So I created a little guide on my promising practices. And then for each lesson, I bullet pointed highlights of what they should share with their students. I talked about how long it should take. And there's a place for example board work. And this is where I use the Vibe board. So I created the document and then I was able to upload it into the canvas on my Vibe board. And I was able to go in and write out what the board work should look like for each lesson. So I did this for every single day of class. And now the instructors can just look at the manual when they're prepping for class and they can either do exactly what I put on the manual or they could use it to inspire them to create their own um, little recap highlight section of the class. So I haven't shared it with them. I'm actually going to share it with them today, but I'm really excited about like making things so much easier <laughs> for the people who are teaching these classes. So I was able to complete the manual in about three days. So literally the whole class worth of lessons I got done in three days with the Vibe board. And I'm actually really proud of how it came out. All right, so next, I just want to share a few things that I really, really loved about the Vibe Board that I think could be helpful for other educators, instructors, people who teach virtually, people who host office hours virtually. Here are the things that I really loved about the Vibe Board. It was a great way for me to host virtual office hours where students can see my handwriting as well as my face at the same time. I love the split screen capabilities. So with any of the screens or any of the windows that you have open in Vibe, you can move one to one side, move one to the other side, and you can have a split screen. So you can maybe have a video going on one side, notes on the other side, PDF on one side, video on the other side, whatever you want. I also really like the camera. The camera is amazingly high quality. It's, probably, it's like better than my computer's camera. It looks really, really good. And the students were able to see me very well. And I'm pretty sure you can use this to create video lectures where it's more of a talking head type of experience. So maybe you have something that you just want to share with the students and you want to like vocalize it. The camera is actually really high quality and would work really well for that. Also, thinking ahead, whenever I do teach virtual classes again, this will be a dream. Teaching a math class at home without a board is very, very difficult. Teaching a math class with a vibe board, I imagine the experience will be very much elevated. And the other thing that I really love is that like everything that you do in the Canvas Vibe board experience is cloud-based. So I can open up the same documents and edit things on my computer. So that way I'm not having to like download stuff on the Vibe and then maybe email it to myself. 
it's already on my computer. So whenever I make edits on the Vibe board, the edits happen on my computer, very much like a drive, a cloud-based drive. So for the challenges for the Vibe board, I'd say they're very few. Um, one, just keep this in mind. If you do live alone, you will want to invite someone over to help you um, put the board onto the stand. The board is pretty massive and can be a bit heavy and so I wouldn't recommend putting it together on your own but you just need one other person. We were able to put it together in like less than five minutes. Super easy peasy. Second challenge was just kind of getting um, adjusted to using this new technology. One thing I do really like about Vibe is the like onboarding experience. So they kind of walked me through every step of the way, but like slowly. So like one day I'll get an email just like teaching me how to sign in and things. The next they would send me an email. Oh, well now it's time to uh, download some apps that you might want to use. And so, and also they have a lot of references for anything you really want to do with the vibe board. I, it kind of seems like they're constantly updating their website um, when, for when people find more uses for like how to use the vibe board and just walking their customers through how to use it. So customer support, great. They have these Zoom calls. I actually got on Zoom with someone and they walked me through um, something like I wanted to um, screen share for you all and I wasn't sure how to get the video from the vibe board to my computer. It's actually very easy because it's all cloud based so I can access whatever I want on the vibe board on my computer as well. So I love that. All right so working with this vibe board was an overall wonderful experience and I have so many ideas of things that I want to use it for in the future. In the future, I would love to use it to host a workshop with my business. So as you know, I have the Academic Society and I have another brand for um, professors wanting to create their own self-hosted learning experiences. And I host workshops and classes. And I think the Vibe Board would be very helpful to host these like live workshops, especially where there's like brainstorming sessions and things like that. Very, very helpful. I'm also looking forward to recording video lectures again. So if ever I need to record a lecture for a class, I would 100% use the Vibe board to do that instead of the document camera that I would originally use, just so the students can see my face and my writing at the same time. I'm excited for the next time I host virtual classes and using the split screen capabilities. Typically when I host virtual classes, students can either just see me writing or see my face, but never both at the same time. And also, sometimes it's difficult for me to see them and the documents that I'm using at the same time. But with the split screen capabilities of the Vibe board, I'll be able to see both. And I love that option. Also, I do speaking engagements and I'm curious to see what presenting on the Vibe board would be like. So having slides up and then having the screen up so I can see my participants at the same time. That's going to be so nice. So just being able to stand to present kind of makes my um, confidence go up a little bit more than sitting down and presenting virtually. And then finally, the next time I teach a new course, I think I will 100% use the Vibe board to kind of map out what I want, like mapping out different topics to different projects and assessments and things like that. I think it'll be a great way to kind of like brainstorm and figure out what I want my course to look like. All right, so overall, I have loved this experience of working with the Vibe board, and I would love to hear from you. Have you ever used an interactive whiteboard before? Like, if you have, what has your experience been? And also, has this video given you like inspiration? inspiration on how to like enhance your classes or enhance your virtual teaching. I would love to know. Share all of your ideas and your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you so much to Vibe for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun and I still have so many more ideas percolating so I'm excited to keep using the Vibe board. But yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with it and it's been very positive. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.